lays eggs. No, an animal that does not lay eggs. Tigers? And elephants? A dog, a cat, a person, um... No, I don't know, I don't get any more. Mammals come in many shapes and sizes, such as this African elephant and small mouse. With so many animals, how do we know which ones are mammals? Traits and characteristics are synonyms for specific qualities. Mammals have traits that allow them to be grouped together. The first trait of a mammal is a vertebrae. A vertebrae is a spine. A spine gives an animal's body shape. You also have a spine that runs down the middle of your back. Here are some animals with vertebrae. Mammals are also warm-blooded, which means they try to keep the inside of their bodies at a constant temperature. They do this by generating their own heat when they are in a cooler environment and by cooling themselves when they are in a hotter environment. If you breathe in deep, you can feel your lungs expand with air. All mammals have lungs and breathe oxygen. Almost all mammals give birth to live young, rather than laying eggs as birds do. Female mammals are the only creatures on earth that make milk for their young. The milk is rich in vitamins, minerals, and all the other nutrients a young animal needs. The last trait a mammal must have is fur or hair. Fur or hair is a characteristic that's only seen in mammals. All mammals develop fur or hair at some point during their development, but not all keep their hair throughout their lifespan. Remember, hair can be different on every mammal, such as this elephant's sparse hair. To every rule, there is an exception. One exception is the bat. Bats are very special mammals. They're the only mammal that can fly. A lot of people think they're birds, but to be a bird, you have feathers. Mammals have fur, and as you can see, his little body has a lot of fur on it. He doesn't have fur on his wings. That would be much too heavy, and he wouldn't be able to fly. Let's review the traits we have learned. A mammal must have a vertebrae, breathe oxygen, be warm-blooded, feed milk to their young, be born alive, and have some kind of fur or hair. How do you think mammals are related to you?